So my role is Mercutio, uh, and unlike in the original uh, Shakespearean work, he's actually a gay man. And um, a lot of the creation process was done between me and Reese, my counterpart, and uh, it's kind of a collaboration between the two of us. Um, so originally we just workshopped a lot of movement and Matt would pick out parts that he liked or bits that he thought needed to be expanded or just made a little bit more clear. It's been really interesting actually, because um, we've kind of been given quite a bit of free reign with creating the part. So the previous production that I did was Cinderella and I was swinging on that. So I did a lot of different parts, but it was very much the parts were created, the movement was made. You were told where to stand, told what to do, and you did it. Whereas for this, like I say, we've been given more free reign. So if I felt like, I don't know, running up the set, then we've run up the set or there's a lot more freedom in creating it, which has been really nice. Originally, my base inspiration would be from the Shakespearean play, um, but that was more for working out what type of character he was going to be, which is normally a playful character, kind of takes the mick out of Romeo or like plays up with the boys. But then obviously being in the institutional setting, we had to switch that around because obviously when like Tibble, the guard is around, we can't really be that uh, playful or boisterous. But I think my main inspirations would be shows like Black Mirror. There's a lot of dark things in those where it kind of allowed me to pick up on certain issues that somebody that's been institutionalized might deal with such as like anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, like all of these different things and finding ways of putting that into the role. The fact that he's a gay character does definitely change the dynamic within like the trio that we have, so Benvolio, Romeo and Balthazar. We had lots of discussions when we first started creating the piece about what the institution was for and there was lots of conversations about the fact that it was kind of like this place that was almost like normalizing people. So there was the idea that we possibly feel too much, like love too much or love in the wrong way. And there's this whole conversation about that it was almost like the institution was trying to minimalize our emotions and what we felt and how we express them. I feel like what I'd like the audience to take away is that whole idea of accepting who people are without feeling like they have to change their selves just for what society deems as normal or yeah, the right thing.